Good morning, Bird Brains, and welcome to day one of the Big Bend Adventure. Uh, but this actually isn't day one. This is actually two days before day one. But the reason I'm coming to you early is because right now I'm headed over to Alamo City Harley Davidson, and uh, eh, I'll just I'll let you see why. Well, I uh, was trying to beat the rain, but I don't think I uh, made it. What do you guys think? Damn it. But uh, the reason why I'm here is actually because they have been nice enough to allow me to borrow one of their used touring bikes to take out to Big Bend. Since uh, I didn't want to take the dyno on, on another long trip, plus Miss Bird's going to be with us. So I wanted something that was going to be a little bit more comfortable for her. That way we can actually ride the National Park roads while we're out there with her being able to go on them. So uh, let me show you what they lent me here. Here she is guys, the 2017 Road Glide Ultra. Miss Bird like wants to like buy it right now. Can we just have it? I, I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe if we sell the Sportster and the Ninja, we could afford it. Oh no. <laughs> please? Did you say please? Please? Yeah. <laughs> so uh... That's the bike that we'll be taking on this adventure here. So, uh, speaking of, let's go ahead and cut to the actual day one. And we're back for day one of the Big Bend adventure. It's a cold one this morning, guys. 46 degrees when I left the house, but uh, it should warm up as soon as the sun comes up. Right now, I'm headed over to Roblox House to meet up with the crew, pack up the follow car and the trailer, and head on out towards Big Bend. Now, if you're familiar with the Texas area, the quickest way to get to Big Bend from San Antonio is I-10 all the way out. That's boring. We're actually going to be taking old Highway 90 all the way out which is going to take us through my hometown i've been on the channel for a while you've probably seen my hometown already but i know the channel was very small at that point i still had the iron in the original paint job that's how long ago that was so we'll probably do a quick run through of my hometown show you guys some of the sites there and then keep on heading west i think we've planned about four or five stops that's both for food gas and sightseeing but uh, i'm excited guys uh it's the first night on the steed so I'm calling this bike the Steed because it just it fits for me. <laughs> only, only complaint I have so far is these damn handlebars, man. Ah, Harley, people's wrists do not bend like this. Quit making these bars like this. Stupid. All right, that's that's my bitching for the trip. That's it. Um, that's probably a lie. I will probably bitch some more before we're there. Just a heads up. All right, on the road. So here we are at the first stop of the day, none other than Zook's Meat Market. If you've been a fan of the channel for a while, you know this is a staple for any road trip. Check out Brad's new saddlebags. These are from, uh, Saddleman. Saddleman, right? Saddleman, that's just my seat. Man, it looks good, too. There you go, it doesn't look bad. It's got quite a bit of space, huh? Mm-hmm. I like it. The Steed is running awesome. I was telling myself, I'm like, ah, there's no way I'm gonna fall in love with this bike. It's an Ultra. I'm, I'm falling in love with this bike already, and we're only 60 miles in, so. So Miss Burr, we can trade in the Sportster and the Ninja and make it happen. Yeah, so uh, total trip time today is about 370 miles. So we got about 300 miles to go, but I feel great. Also, I'm wearing chaps, guys. I, I finally broke down and got some chaps for uh, the, this winter that we have. Uh, I don't have any real cold here, so I got some chaps. Loving it so far. I can see why people wear them now. Hi. Hi. So here we are guys at uh, Stripes in Ulvalde. White people call you Valde, but uh, us Hispanics call it Ulvalde. Did y'all find anything? No, they didn't have it. There's a lot of whiskey. They were looking for this boozy bitch. Glen Fittich Fiery Cane. Glen Fittich Fiery Cane. But no luck. Hi. How's it going? 
How you doing? Uh, next stop is gonna be Del Rio. It's gonna be about another hundred miles. The girls already took off in the follow car. What are we at right now, mile-wise? 118 miles. So we still got a shit ton to go. <laughs> another 200 miles. Another 200-ish miles. All right. Woo! Let's go. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. Chilies. Baby back ribs. Chilies, baby back ribs. Barbecue sauce. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's like he didn't know it to you. Everybody did it. Except you. Where are you at? Yeah. Like for Oh, <laughs> Brad just got. <laughs> Yeah, you picked that up, bitch. Yeah, you handled my meat. Oh, well. <laughs> I just got, I just got weird. Hey, it's Miss Bird. It's <laughs> a dope ass hoodie. Thanks. It's Metallica. Did you have fun showing in the truck? Yeah. 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 And did y'all tell dirty stories? No. Oh. Huh. Me and Ken told dirty stories. Always. Right. Just kidding. We weren't even connected the whole time. That sucks. <laughs> Intercom failed. Oh man, my camera doesn't go any further. Earthquake! I knew it. I heard somebody say my name as soon as I left. So we're here in Del Rio at Walmart. They left me with Tracy and all the bikes. They uh, went in because Tracy. Forgot to pack all our food that we spent. I did not! <laughs> Who did then? Jonathan. All right, well, their household <laughs> forgot to pack all the food that we spent like, what, four hours getting the other day? It was like four and a half hours, maybe seven, I don't know. <laughs> but it took so long to get that food for nothing. So now we're here back at Walmart here in Del Rio waiting for them to get groceries so we can finally uh, get back on the road. We're not even halfway there, are we? Yeah. I don't and I don't think so. Oh, I locked my bike. 20 miles left. No, until Sanderson. That's not even halfway to Big Ben. No, we're past, we're past, the, we're barely past the halfway point. We're at 194 and we're going 360. So yeah, we're just past the halfway point. And what time is it? 340. So still making good time. We'll be there before sundown, which is, that's the goal. So I guess, <laughs> I guess everything is all right, but uh, I'm excited because after this is when we start get to see new stuff for a lot of the people here. Uh, we're gonna stop at the Pegas High Bridge, which is the highest, it's the tallest bridge in Texas. I think it's like in the top five in the United States. Then we're gonna be stopping in Sanderson, which is my hometown. We're gonna be stopping in Alpine, which is gonna be our final stop before heading out to our final location, which is an Airbnb about 30 miles north of Terlingua. Hey kid, I got dry ice. You got dry ice? Yeah. It's like ice, but not wet. Yeah. Is that for uh, specific use? As in like we're gonna screw with people? It has multi-purposes. Okay. A multi-purpose purchase. Yeah. <laughs> All right, back to the road. How's it going? Man, we got your group. Uh, six plus the truck. And the truck. Nice. Yes, sir. Uh, Big Bend. Very good. Everybody, you a citizen? Yes, sir. All right, We're here at the Pecos County High Bridge. I'll get you guys some info on this thing know, earlier, but so or in a little. Like, why did we wait so long in the day to get behind? We're you? too loud. <laughs> well, Faith is here, so it's probably all you can hear at this point. It's it's eerily quiet out here. Not right now because we're here, but uh, it almost hurts your ears. It's so quiet out here. It's really strange.
this here, ladies and gentlemen, is my hometown of Sanderson. You're you're seeing all of it right here. That's that's the whole thing. Population around 800. At least when I was here, that's what it was. It could have changed. Uh, when I was when I graduated between pre-K and high school, we had 152 students. My class being the biggest at 17. Uh, no, it was not a private school. This is a public school for actually the second biggest county in Texas. It's just very isolated. <laughs> Uh, the closest town that has a school is about 60 miles away, but it's it's smaller than our school. I think they only had probably about 50 kids through uh, kinder and through senior. But uh, people ask me how it was to grow up in a town like this, and honestly, I wouldn't have had it any other way. I absolutely loved growing up here. You know, you've got the, the times where, you know, you're bored as hell, but I guarantee you I've got more stories from stuff that we were able to get away with <laughs> in this town than uh, most people have for their their whole childhood this restaurant in here uh, was called the dairy king it looks like it is shut down it's sad man this town is is really dying really the only thing keeping it alive right now is border patrol that's uh, essentially the only uh real means of income at this town anymore there's the uh the newspaper i used to get my uh, haircut right here it looks like it's now something else this uh place right here the white building that used to be a tire shop my grandfather actually worked there and this used to be a restaurant it is no longer a restaurant but uh, that was actually where i got my first job that's different yeah the people that own that are very weird this little parking lot right here is called bills i spent countless hours just hanging out in that parking lot that's that's literally what we did. There, there was nothing else to do, so we just parked our cars in the parking lot and hung out. This is called Havelina Hill right here. It's because uh, it's known for having lots of Havelinas. Uh, if you don't know what a Havelina is, it looks like this. Uh, basically big giant pigs that are mean as hell. But uh, we used to climb up there at night because there's a little outlook out there you can see over the, the entire town. It's pretty cool. And this right here is our local gas station. I also worked here as a teenager. Oh man, memories. This area back here, if you see that uh, gap right where that telephone pole is, that's the uh, the way to get back to the trails that I, I would use to get... Uh, I'd ride my dirt bike down these trails, come up and get gas. That's how I got gas without uh, riding on the street because the cops here were very strict about that. Alright guys, well, I'm going to take this opportunity to go stretch. I'm, I'm starting to hurt now. We're a little over 300 miles, which is funny because I'm just now starting to hurt, which uh, on the dyno would have been a long time ago. But uh, the steed is holding up extremely well. I'm definitely falling for this bike, guys. Ugh. I really did not want to do this, but I mean, I don't really like, I don't really care for the way it looks right now, but in my head, I can see what I could make it into, and it's exciting, so I don't know. Might be making moves. A few moments later. Alright guys, we were here in Sanderson. Just gassed up. We were only here for like 15 minutes and uh, we lost a good portion of our sunlight. So, not good for me. I was not looking forward to this because uh, the wildlife gets very bad out here. And uh, was not wanting to make it to our destination in the dark. But, you know what? Ain't nothing to it but to do it, so... Alright guys, it's the final stretch.
All right. Taking an ultra that I'm not comfortable with down two miles of dirt road. Let's do it. I feel like I'm being f***ing punked right now. Look at this guy's shorts, oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. How y'all doing? Cold. <laughs> you found this road okay? Uh, I saw you came in uh, White Mill Road instead of Swafford Road. Did you try Swafford Road and you couldn't make it? Or no, we came down Swafford. We turned at the, the sign that said Swafford. Well, I thought I saw y'all coming down this direction from uh, White Mill. I don't believe so. There, and, and is this everybody? Nope. Because I saw two more. It looked like two more motorcycles or two more vehicles. We should have two more bikes in the truck. There's two more bikes in the truck? Yeah. Dirt bikes, you mean? No, there's two bikes and a truck. There's two more motorcycles like this plus a truck. Oh, how many of you are right here? Four, I think. Four, four right here. And then there's six... And then two more people in the truck? Yeah. Um, you know, um, you might want to... There's a hill there with some pretty loose okay. material in it, you know? I'm not a biker, so I don't know that much about how these things work on this type of roads and stuff. But uh, right out here, maybe about 100 feet behind you, there's this bank right here. Uh -huh. It'll flatten out, and there's no vegetation off to the side. What, what I told Alicia was maybe if y'all had trouble getting down Swelford Road, crime... Like stealing motorcycles and TVs is not really a problem here. It never has been. <laughs> yeah. Nobody wants to go down these. They'd have to come out quite a quite a ways. Back, you know. But you might want to park your vehicles out here, uh, and then they can just you know shuttle you down here. Yeah. In the mornings in your pickup, I mean in, the, in their pickup and stuff. Yeah. Uh, if this is worse than Swafford, then we should definitely do that. Yeah, it's going to be. There's just a short stretch going up a hill with some loose material. Okay. You know? Now everybody, after we get unpacked, is going to have to uh, park your 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 vehicles in the corral. Park your 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 vehicles in the corral. We have two burros and a horse that run free out here, and the horse won't uh, bother them, but the burros will grab this mirror or scratch your paint and do all kinds of stuff. You know, <laughs> chew up your seats, you know, your gotcha. and stuff like that. So. Um, everybody parks in the corral anyway, so I think you'll be fine right back here. I'll try to come out your buddy's eye. It flattens out back there a little bit. All right. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at it. When did uh, you see the other two drop off? Uh, we went around one of the turns. I'm assuming one of them fell. Yeah, yeah, I'd assume so. I didn't even notice it until after I came around the turn and realized we were on the straightaway, and I was like, I don't see light. Yeah. 
Well, there was only one way to come, so that was super sketchy. Well, I'll see what we can do. If you want to park your bikes here, we can jump in my Suburban okay. and go look for them, you know. Yeah. Um, uh, and see if they need any help or anything like that. Yeah. I don't have my back seats up to the Suburban because I got my dogs in there, but <laughs> you can That's... Kind of, the room for a guy, you know, riding shotgun, and then you rest them kind of just... Yeah. It's a little bit of a dirt road. Uh, if, <laughs> to be fair, cars could drive on it. <laughs> Prius. I've had about a dozen Priuses here. Those little Scions and stuff. I've never had Harleys here. I have had, you know, four wheelers. Oh, so we were the guinea pigs. <laughs> I've been doing this for over seven years. Wow. Yeah, this is going to be an issue. Huh? I said this is going to be an issue. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, I'm surprised uh, just one person went down. Can you come check tires, Donnie? I'm starting to be very curious about how we're going to be able to do this for the next two days. Yeah, this is going to be an issue. This is going to be a big issue. Did they just trailer it? I'm going to say, I'm hoping oh, she no. just got uncomfortable, pulled and over, trailer and trailered. Yeah. I'm hoping that's what happened. Kick your ass. And look at that hoof. It's f***ed ah! up. Poor dude can't even walk. Morning, guys. Uh, sorry, I just kind of left you hanging. Okay, dude. This. What am I going to do with this? So, interesting story last night. I was up until 2 o'clock in the morning getting my stuff downloaded from yesterday. Went to bed at about 4 a.m.-ish. Our carbon monoxide alarm went off. Had no idea how to turn it off. Probably get rid of the carbon monoxide now that we're now I'm thinking about it, that probably would have done it. That was an interesting way to wake up. We didn't die though, no one died, so yay. Don't bite me! We talked. They did have a talk. Don't you even think about coming over here, bro. I know I just realized that I'm gonna I'm gonna show them. So I know it was kinda hard to see last night as we were coming in, but that road was a total shit show. It was difficult for me, even with all my off-road riding. Tracy dropped her bike, Brad did not. And everyone thought it, we, he was we were, yeah, he was going to. But uh shout out Brad. <laughs> we get here and it takes us what two and a half hours to get set up. Yeah. Because we can't ride the bikes to the cabins so they are let me see if i can <laughs> they are right there you can see the trailer and then the bikes right next to the and you see the road actually goes that far that trailer and then those bikes the road was a two mile not dirt road dirt road is not a accurate description it was rocky off-road like stuff i used to ride my dirt bike on but the good news is we did wake up to a pretty awesome view. I mean, check out the mountains, guys. It's the mountains. This doesn't do it justice. Just seeing it here on the camera does not do it. Dude, ah! off. Seeing it here on the camera does not do it justice. So, um, before we go ahead and cut to day two, let's go ahead and uh, get you guys some drone shots.
Bro. Send it, pussy! <laughs> oh.